volunteering makes us more human. What do you say about this one? Welcome back to our next episode of the series called Language Shapes Perception. And the topic that we're tackling today is called volunteering and how volunteering makes us more human. Volunteering is at the very core of being a human. No one has made it through life without someone else's help. That's what Heather French Henry has to say about volunteering. For most people, a volunteer is someone who contributes with time to help others without expecting payment or other material gain. Volunteering is giving your time and energy to someone else's benefit. And it's also important because when you're doing something for someone else's good, you will have a sense of accomplishment, a self-confidence, and even feel a little bit satisfied. And um, the, the better you feel about yourself, the more likely you are to have a positive outlook on your future life, on your goals, and on everything you're working through. Volunteering helps us become more human because it benefits both the person who shares uh, the love or who, who does the volunteering and also helps the person who receives it. It also helps us to meet other people and, and make new friends. There are several companies in the world that employ people that do volunteering, volunteering or do voluntary work. There are several companies in the world that employ people that do voluntary work. So people not only help different companies but also create a future for their career. Volunteering is considered a social activity and as such enables social integration and the creation of new relationships, directly and positively affecting the volunteer's mental health. One of the most well-known benefits of volunteering is the impact on the community, is the impact on a person's perspective on life, is an impact on, on the person's mood, and also it's definitely an impact on the person's idea of humanity. Volunteering lets you connect with a certain community and makes it a better place. Even helping with the smallest of tasks can make a real difference in people's lives, and they will create a good opinion for uh, for the world based on on the on the small act of kindness or the the voluntary work that you did for them also by becoming part of an activity for the good of the community volunteering increases self confidence and personal efficiency volunteering for good volunteering for good deeds removes problematic behaviors builds a better character of the person who is doing it and strengthens trust between people. Volunteering enables people to develop leadership skills. They begin to engage and they are able to understand the problems of the society to which they live in and to which they belong. Also, volunteers have the opportunity to offer their assistance in various fields such as health, education, social services, and so on. Everyone needs a little bit, everyone needs a little bit of volunteering in their life. It may be a little work does not matter as long as it's okay cut that one it still may change someone else's life in the better way as a teacher as a teacher and based on based on many of my students responses based my personal opinion as a teacher and based on uh, a, a lot of a lot of students uh, responses I've come across a lot of opportunities to help people and do volunteering uh, whether it's in the school in the community around the family chores and there's a lot of ways that you can try and make a difference when it comes to uh, volunteering at this point in time it is very important for me and for other uh, students to develop into a better version of, of ourselves. This can be achieved by doing voluntary work and volunteering can be highly productive and it is a great way for us as part of the society and the part of a larger community to connect better with the community around us. A few hours a day in the park doing voluntary work can bring a lifetime of happiness into a child's life who goes to the park every day. Uh, as researchers have shown, 
that an average teenager spends almost nine hours a day using social media and scrolling down their phones or their uh, laptops. Faced with statistics like this one, it is clearly obvious that all of us, not excluding myself, need to spend more time outdoors doing voluntary work rather than sitting all day long doing nothing but scrolling in our social media. Giving help to the community is one of the most fulfilling experiences one could get. It is widely known that having free time in our hands is an issue. As students and as teacher, as a teacher myself, I think we have a lot of things to deal with, uh, such as school, uh, daily chores, and we have a lot we can do. Even though we do not have a lot of free time, it is important to make time to do at least some volunteering work. Volunteering is also beneficial if you want to boost your educational experience and also gain a lot of new skills. It keeps the mind and body healthy and in motion all the time. Volunteering helps us give up bad habits and it is an enjoyable and easy way to explore our true passions. Volunteering empowers the individual to better their life. Once you step out of your room and start volunteering, you will learn a lot more about humanity. Volunteering shows you how giving humans are, even when they do not have what to give. The community we live in today is diverse and a lot of people may feel down or may feel like they do not deserve a place in this community, in this large community which is called planet Earth. But by volunteering, we have the chance to give the powerless a voice and gather together to help make the world a better place for us and for the future generations. When volunteering, you may see that everyone has a story. Everyone has different perspective on life and different perspective on, on, on love and on humanity. You get to learn a lot about people and the difficulties they go through. As, as Gandhi once said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And it is a very beautiful statement in my opinion. It is a statement I completely agree with. No harm is going to be caused if we dedicate a little of our time doing things that may help those in need. By giving as much as we can, we can also create infinity cycles of joy. Giving makes the world different and the more we give, the more we will receive. It's, it's how it works. Doing good for others can also boost our, uh, our own happiness, let alone others' happiness. Uh, there is so much work to be done and we all together as the future of this world can do a lot just by, just by, just by uh, volunteering. The benefits that people, especially students, get from volunteering are that they manage to acquire some skills that they have not learned before from school, which helps them to have a professional training. Some studies have shown that students who apply to different jobs and present uh, the volunteer work, they have, the volunteering work they have done, have a greater advantage to be accepted in, in, in a certain job. So except school, students should do other activities which may also be volunteering. Volunteering should be a necessary phenomenon for the society we are building today. And the last thing we're gonna say about this matter is a quote by Helen Dyer, uh, who says that volunteering is the voice of the people put into action. These actions shape and mold the present into a future of which we can all be proud. And thank you for listening to our podcast. I hope you enjoyed our modest elaboration. If you like this episode and you're keen to listening to similar stuff, join us in our next session next week when we'll be recording our next episode tackling a different topic. As always, you can head over to our YouTube channel to subscribe or to sign up to our email list as well as check out all the links and resources in the show notes. That's all for now. See you next time.